Hi y'all, welcome back to By Devin Nails. Today we're gonna be doing a stamping set on top of a rainbow skittle mani that I did earlier this week in preparation. So this video is just the stamping. I'm creating these cute little mini fig heads to wear on my nails to go to a Lego convention. My family has never gone to a Lego convention before, but my kids and my husband, and really me too, are really into Lego. Um, we like the building, the sets that, that they have, but then also, especially my oldest, is really creative. I know I'm probably biased, um, but he comes with a, with all of these really great ideas, and he we call it Frankensteining. So he'll take apart a built set, and he'll make something totally new. And so we really wanted to kind of encourage that creativity that he has so we thought going and seeing all of these other lego creators making all of their own sets would be really fun for him so because i love to have a nail set matching whatever we're doing for the day i had to have a lego nail mani and so i'm using this mundo de unas um, stamping plate it is a really great lego one it has some lego bricks it has full minifigs it even has the little lego star wars characters and i've used it previously i've actually this is the second lego mani that i have made um, i made actually it's the third because the the one that i was thinking of is one that i did as part of a collab for a you had to like redo a Manny, so either a Manny that you had loved or a Manny that you had not loved very much. And the one that I redid was a Manny that I had done probably two or three months into learning how to stamp, and I felt like I had just gotten really good at it. I'd finally figured out like how um, how hard do you have to push the stamps down? How much stamping polish do you need? All of those things. And I was so excited about this Manny that I had planned where my family was going to a museum exhibit on Lego and so I was like well I have to have some Lego nails to go with it I thought it would be super cute and I super rushed it I had like two hours to do it well, actually I probably had far less um, I probably had like 40 minutes <laughs> and I was like oh I've got this I know how to stamp now I did not and it just did not look good and so I redid that one for a nail collab and absolutely loved it I was a little bit intimidated to do this one because you know once you've already done something that you love it's hard to do it I didn't want it to be the exact same but then I also like the other one had in my opinion had been really good and so I was nervous so anyways I decided to make this one completely different the other one I had done like all these different nail colors and um, then it mostly looked like the nail bricks. So this one I thought would be really fun to do the mini figs. So you saw there I did the um, outline stamp of four different mini fig heads and then one full mini fig. And then I also got some of these bricks to put behind one of the mini fig heads just to kind of give an extra accent. I decided to do um, all of the nails are one color except for one of the nails, which has some color blocking to kind of look like the different blocks um, connected together. And I am going to go in and reverse stamp. So I flipped my camera a little bit so I know that the perspective here has changed. Um, and I'm going to go in and kind of color in all of these cute little mini fig heads. This yellow is almost the right color for a minifig so if you're a huge lego fan don't come at me i know the yellow is not quite right but for this i thought it was it was decent enough um so i gave her brown hair and then this cute little red ribbon um these are my born pretty and queen and then clear jelly stamper are the three different companies that i'm using for stamping polish and they went on really well. I really love this dotting tool also. I actually prefer the dotting tool to the paintbrush. I feel like it's easier for me to remember that I should be doing that dotting up and down motion than using the stamping like a, a paintbrush. Um, but that's just me. I do sometimes use the paintbrush obviously when you need to get into a tight corner because round brushes are more difficult to get into a like space with a, a hard right angle. 
So just checking to see how it looks because you are stamping reverse. So you're only going to see the bottom layer. So you're, you do all the things that you want to see on top first and then you kind of cover it up, which is nice because with this yellow, you can just go right on top of everything else. And luckily these little mini figs, they do not have a lot of detail in them, which makes sense because mini fig heads do not have that much detail depending on which ones you get. So this actually went together fairly easily. Um, the biggest part was just that little bit at the bottom, just trying not to get over the edge. And when we were at the convention, y'all, I have to say I did get a compliment on my nails. So I felt pretty pretty excited by that because you know usually you do your nails for things and I don't feel like there's a lot of opportunity to show people um and here is it on the reverse so you can see you can see how it's going to look her cute little eyes and her bow and I'm going to keep those two little bricks um empty I'm just going to stamp them to the side to add a little detail at the end so we've got this second little guy I made his mouth blue because that made sense to me that his mouth should be blue but then I realized later that minifig mouths are probably black, so maybe that would have made more sense. But, you know, I'm happy with how it turned out. So I'm not going to nitpick because sometimes we can be our worst critics and we should just go with it. And it was fun and it made other people happy and it made my kids super happy. They loved seeing these little minifigs on my nails. So that's really all that should matter. Not if I put the wrong color inside this little mini fig mouth. This one was a super easy because it was just pretty much just yellow all the way through. Oh, there he is. So I've got a few more here. This guy has these funny little eyes and I'm going to give him brown hair again and a little red tongue in the middle of his mouth. And then I did his mouth blue also because it just seemed like it made more sense to keep them consistent. And a little bit more brown for the hair. What do you all like to do? Do you all build Lego? Do you have fun times? Um, things that you like to paint your nails for that kind of go with your other hobbies and things your family likes to do? Let me know in the chat. All right, y'all, here is the final look. I loved how these turned out. So fun. This has been by Devin Nails. Bye, y'all.